And we begin at six with a survival story you might say feels like a miracle. Today we learned a Washington County Sheriff's deputy shot while serving an eviction notice was hit seven times, including in the chest and head. But Deputy Charles Doze is now recovering and conscious. And this evening we are hearing from his family for the first time. Thanks for joining us. I'm David Molko and I'm Laurel Porter. Deputy Doze remains at a North Portland hospital and that's where Alma McCarty joins us now. Alma, this is a truly remarkable story. Absolutely remarkable. Laurel, David, Deputy Charles Doze, like you said, was shot seven times last Wednesday. He was shot in the upper torso area three times, but his body armor prevented the bullets from hitting him. He was also shot once in each arm and twice in the head. Both the sheriff's office and his family say that as a result of that shooting, he's lost his left eye as well as several teeth. He's here at Legacy Emanuel recovering from his injuries, still hospitalized after this terrible incident. Although he has multiple surgeries and a long road ahead of him, his daughter Kayla says they've seen such promising progress from his head swelling going down day after day to his ability to speak when not under anesthesia. Deputy Doze telling his family he can't wait to get out of his hospital bed and give them all a hug after what has been a terrifying and life threatening situation. I trust his skills and I trust his knowledge and I trust his abilities. But of course, just being in this line of duty, you do have fear that you have to work through. And um, he came to visit me in Florida and one of the last things I said to him was like, Dad, don't die. I just like had to say that to him. And he's like, I want sweetie. And when I went into the first night of visiting him, he was like, I didn't die. And I was like, yeah, I'm close. <laughs> you know, just don't do this again. <laughs> Now, Kayla says her family is just so incredibly grateful for the amount of support they've gotten over the last week. She says she can rest much easier knowing that his fellow deputies have his back through this recovery. Laurel, David. Yeah, the power of family, friends, community, and a little positive thinking. Thank you, Alma. I appreciate your reporting on that.